Okay guys, obviously this is the most happening booth here at Queen's and I'm not surprised because everyone's checking out the Proton X70 and if you can't make it, I'm here to check it out with you! Okay, so there are two variants of the Proton X70 There's the Executive and Premium So the Executive one is the one without the sunroof is the one that has less features of course and a lot of design centric things that they do here is due to the Malaysian design for example the weaving and the front and uh, if you go inside you look at uh, the side door panels let me just take you there lah I talk so much for what right so you low yeah check this out there's like weaving here as well and you have the side compartments here. The whole feel of it is very nice. This is the executive one whereby you don't have a sunroof and just less features. And uh, this is the boot. So many people around here. I can't even get a clean shot guys. I'm so sorry. But this is just so how many people are interested in the Proton X70. And look at the side profile. It's supposed to like have lines which look like Harimau. Let me know if you think that it actually looks like a harimau, okay? Um, you have... How big are the tires? 19 inch! Hey! Same as a Hyundai i30 and Yo! <laughs> Sorry. And I'm just here banging everyone because that's what I do. Um, yeah. Let's just go inside. Let you take a look how the inside actually is. Alright, so I'm in the premium... The premium, premium, premium one. So I go inside and the door feels very solid. Everything around here feels very, very solid. So nice! I mean, all these touches, they put a lot of chrome inside, but I think they blended it very well. So, so. Okay. Okay, here, yeah, you hear the back, you hear the back. So it's Napa, Lara, see, everyone knows. Infotainment system. Wow! Okay, I like how the infotainment system looks like. Just come on and then you see your buttons here. Wow, okay. It's, um, let's see how responsive it is. It's, it's relatively responsive, a bit too slow. So for example, let me just try. Uh, okay, it's a bit too small for me. I mean, my fingers are small enough, I think. But this one, you have to take a little. Yeah, for you big finger people out there, I don't know how you're going to do it. But yeah, this is how the inside looks like. The touch and feel of everything is very, very solid, very, very good. And uh, you have no USB ports here though. But you do have one here. One USB port here, one 12 volt power outlet there. And you have a little side compartment as well. Put your stuff here. And the side compartments here as well. Yeah. This is the visibility. Visibility is it's a SUV la, okay. Um, you open the visor. Yeah, you have lights. Sunglasses here. Abang, how you feel of yeah, the X70? Very nice. very nice. You like it? A lot of Volvo influence here. Yeah. You like? Are you a fan of Volvo? Yes, I'm driving one. Wow, which Volvo are you driving? V40. Hey, yeah. I love the V40. Yeah. You can go so fast and it's so comfortable. Oh my god, it's and also the price. Yeah, and you cannot get 180 for 250 or Right, uh, right. And that that really is. I feel a sleeper car yeah. It looks like nothing more, but when you tekan, push, it. <laughs> Yeah. But are you impressed with the X70? Yeah. Yeah? Very nice. Thinking of getting one? <laughs> it's launching in December. Yeah. The thing is, you don't know the reliability of Proton. True. So so that will be one of your concerns? Yeah. Okay. Reliability. Reliability of the Proton. That will be one of your concerns. And also the quality of the materials that they use. After like a few years down the road, right? You but I think... The, you yeah. know the history of Proton? Where yes, I think we're all, we're, we're all very aware of the yeah. history of the Proton, right? But I think this is a very good um, step for them. I think they're trying to yeah, it is. position themselves you know, like, hey, we're a premium brand. and uh, Even today, they are really marketing their cars. Yeah, I mean, it's the most um, popular booth here, yeah. as far as I know. Of course, everyone's interested to see yeah, the X70. Really, really looking forward for the X70. Yeah. Look out for its launch, December. It's next month, is it? Yeah, it's next month. It's next month. Yeah. 
Okay, so good review so far. And uh, his concerns are the same as all of us, which is how it durability, reliability, and uh, whether this threat will start coming out, whether you start <laughs> hearing noises down the road. But, yeah. Especially the follow windows, yeah? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, he said it, I didn't see it. Okay. So what's your name? Uh, Hazik. Hazik, very nice to meet you. Hazik, yeah, thank yeah, you. Sure. Uh, yeah, you'll be on one of my videos. Yeah, from, Evo, from, from Evo Malaysia. Yeah. Thank you. I follow your YouTube channel. Oh my god, really? Uh? Yeah. Holy shit. Hey, today. <laughs> Guys, another thing I want to pinpoint is I like continuity. So, you see how this ends here, but it continues here. And it looks very nice. Like, from this angle, it seems like, you know, it continues on and it's very nice. And you see how this is the door panel? It continues on. It just open here. It's so nice. Brilliant. Brilliant. So yeah, this is the uh, back of the car again, tan interior, very nice. And the best thing is you have USB ports here. Yeah, USB ports, you see that guy sitting there, that's his headroom and legroom. Very, very comfortable. I think it looks very, very premium. A lot of influences of the Volvo, obviously. Everyone knows that because he did, uh huh? And uh, if you go to the back, sorry, this is the back of the car and uh, the boot rather spacious yeah the tunnel cover here pull it down and this is how it looks like yeah yeah tunnel cover here okay this is how the back looks like um not really a fan of how the back looks like i feel like it's a bit everything's a bit too high and a lot of things are very very busy but it doesn't look like a proto anymore. It really looks like a continental car or even a Korean car. It's gonna. Yep, there's a button here. Pull it up and it goes up. And uh, it's very. It's quite difficult to pull it down. It's rather heavy. And, uh, yeah, twin tail pipes. That's the Proton X70, guys. By the way, guys. Um, the executive is all-wheel drive and the premium is two-wheel drive. If you don't know the differences, which I'm pretty sure you will. And if you don't, what you can do is you look at whether they have a sunroof or not. Oh, they close everything. It looks so good. Very, very neat. Very nice. So guys, let's check out the specs together. 25 kilowatt of power to 85 Nm of torque and a 6 speed automatic transmission. God damn it, the Proton get your depth car. It is all wheel drive point. Yeah, so you have like a very good handling and all that kind of thing, which we all know. And uh, yeah, here you go.